Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to KNH 416-516 Sports Marketing Course. I am Dr. Bo Li and I am the instructor for this online course. Uh, for some of you might know, uh, sports marketing this semester, our SLAM program offers three sections. So this is the only online sections. Initially, uh, this course was set up as a face-to-face -face course. But due to the COVID-19, um, obviously we are unable to meet with each other in person. So I think uh, the best way for me to deliver this course is just, you know, make it online. It's easier for some students. If you're not be able to come back to campus, you can take it at home. Um, we also have some international students, um, possibly due to the travel restrictions, you'll not be able to come back to the United States, continue with your education. So it's easier for you to just take this course at home. Um, that's why I decided to change this course um, to an online course. And although it's an online course, I would like to enhance your online learning experience. Um, so throughout this entire semester, so I would like to organize some of the live stream lectures to help you review some of the concept we learn in the class, um, help you to have better understanding of some of the assignment, uh, homework we do in this course, and also will give you the opportunity to ask some of the questions you may have during this online learning experience. Okay. So this is about um, how I would like to structure this course. So in this first video, uh, first of all, I would like to introduce myself a little bit, and then I'm going to give you the brief introductions of this course. Uh, when I look at the student who signed up for this course, I look at some of the very familiar names. Um, some students took my uh, sport administration course last year. Uh, I'm glad to see you here again um, in this sports marketing course. Um, and also I'm happy to see some of the new faces that I have never had chance to meet um, in my other courses. Um, as you know, my name is Dr. Boli. I've got the shortest name in the entire world, right? Four letters. So make sure when you shoot me an email, you won't screw up my names. Um, in terms of my educational backgrounds, I'm coming from a media background. I did my undergraduate in journalism. I did my master in international business in international relations. And also I did my PhD at the uh, recreation and sport management. So I'm coming from all different areas. And I think learning different major can really help me to understand the business world, understand the sports industries better and from a very different perspective. Um, some students also know I was a sports reporter before, right? I was a sports reporter for about six years. I did cover a lot of great events in the past when I was a reporter. And also I met a lot of great persons when I was a reporter. I really enjoyed my experience when, uh, when I was a reporter. Um, my office uh, is located in Hayes Hall 202L. Uh, some students might know um, our SLAM department will be moving to Laws Hall either this semester or next semester, but I decided to stay in the Phillips Hall for this whole entire semester. So Phillips Hall 202L is my office. If you have any questions, please come over here to talk to me in person. My office hours are for the semester are the Tuesday and Thursday, 10 to 12, or you can schedule an appointment, meet me in my office. Since this is the COVID-19, I'm very important when you meet me, come to my office, you need to have your mask on. Um, you can see my email, um, bo.li at miamiohio.edu. So please shoot me an email if you have any question, concern uh, in this course. And I also have my Twitter handles here. If you want to follow my journeys, uh, you can also follow me on Twitter. Okay, so those are brief introductions about myself, a little thing that I did in the past. And I would like to spend a little time to talk about what I am doing right now at the university. Um, as a SLAM faculty member, um, I'm mainly teaching sport administrations. So for this year, it's actually the first year they decided to add sports marketing to my um, teaching schedules. Um, so this is actually my first time teaching sports marketing in Miami. I taught sports marketing before in other institutions for about three years. So I sort of have a very clear idea what this class will um, will looks like. 
Um, but again, I welcome to all the feedbacks, either you know positive, constructive feedbacks. I look forward to you know hearing more feedbacks from you. To let me know whether you like this class or not. Um, what part you dislike and you know how do you want me to change it? So I would like to you know give you a great experience when you're taking this class online. So my research area. Um, my research area has been focused on sports marketing and sports communication. Um, um, speaking, speaking of sports marketing, I mainly studies about social media. I studies about how social media has been utilized in brandings by athletes, by sports organizations. And also I'm really interested in studying about sports fans and try to understand about how sports fans utilize sports media um, social media this platform to engage with sports organizations and also engage with their favorite athletes uh, we know we have different types of social media right now right we have a facebook we have twitter we have instagram we have snapchat we have a uh, t-talks really he top it t-talk right now at this point um, so i also study about how sports organizations are using different types of media platform to engage with sports fans and also how sports fans are using different types of media platforms um, to actually um, express their interest of how these different types of social media platform can fulfill their demands um, so this is my primary research focus um, in addition to this, um, I also working with my friends marketing company on some marketing projects. In the past few years, we did um, work with some great athletes in the past and help them to uh, land some marketing opportunities. Uh, here are those two examples. The first example uh, was the 2019, I think that was last year. Yeah, we worked with um, Yannick. Um, with the one of the esports, um, some student might know Part G, right? Part G is a pretty popular um, event. So last year, Part G reached out to us and to see whether it's possible um, they can, you know, get an NBA star involved in their uh, international promotions. So they had the event in Germany back to July. So they say we would like to have an NBA star to be part of it. So they give us a couple of names, so we reach out to a couple of the NBA players, um, retired NBA players such as Shaquille O'Neal, and also uh, Yannick is also um, one of the athletes on the list. Uh, we decided to um, work with the Yannick. Um, so we brought Yannick and his brothers, you know, he has four brothers, right, from Greece and to to germany to participate in the event in july so he had a great time and also some people may be able to see the commercial um purchase promotion that featured yannick last year yes they were able to use that um, if you're playing part g you possibly noticed last year um you know they had some like uh, internal products um, provided in the games include Yannick's logos and image in the games. Yes, we did also um, include that in these uh, sponsorship packages. So that was actually a pretty interesting experience working with Yannick and his teams. Uh, his team mainly based in Chicago, so we did have a pretty good uh, interaction through the, this time. We look forward to working with him again. So currently the main star that we're working with is a Crochet Ronaldo's. Uh, Crochet Ronaldo last year, uh, one big thing we helped him with was um, help him to work with a Chinese uh, dairy brand, meal brand. Um, they have a, a collaboration for about six, six months. So the, the brands was able to use uh, Crochet Ronaldo's image into their um, promotions in Asia. Uh, so it was really successful. Uh, this year, um, Coach Ronaldo's teams also reached out to us to see whether uh, we could help them to find out some other um, endorsement opportunities. Uh, currently, we are working on it's not finalized yet. So uh, we're working on is the negotiation between Coach Ronaldo's and T Talks um, to see whether we can develop a global partnerships between Coach Ronaldo's and T Talks and have Coach Ronaldo. Christian Ronaldo have accounts on TikTok and interact with the fans and maybe participate something else. So we're working on that project yet, um, but hasn't been completely finalized. So, but this is something 
that I do um, outside of university, um, try to enhance my and the connection in the sports industries, you know, get more about learning experience. I think those experiences are very helpful because I can brought this experience back to my classroom. The students will definitely benefit from you know, having these opportunities. Okay, so this is some of the marketing project that I have been doing in the past years. Okay, this is something that I do um, as a professor in Miami. Um, now uh, it's time for me to introduce a little bit about this course, right? It's a sports marketing course. Um, so the textbook for this course is called Sports Marketing uh, Stitch Perspective. Um, this textbook, um, currently they published the fifth edition. The fifth edition was published in 2015. So I would strongly recommend you to have that textbook, pretty heavy, solid one. A uh, lot of reading that you have to do in this class are coming from the textbook. So I strongly recommend you to have a hard copy or maybe have an ebook or maybe you can borrow it from, from, from Amazon, right? You can lend the book from Amazon. You see, I look, I check the price. I check out the price there. It's pretty cheap. It's only $15. You can rent the book for three, three months, right? So I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, definitely I recommend you to have these textbooks. Uh, for this class, um, I have divided this course into three modules. For the first modules, um, so I'll give you a brief idea what the sports marketing is. So we're going to look at sports marketing process. We'll look at consumer behavior. We'll look at how we're going to conduct marketing research. And then we'll look at the segmentation and target marketings. And some students have taken principle of the marketing before, right, from business school. When we talk about marketing, we know that's a 4P, right, really well-known uh, principle in, in marketing product price, promotion, and place. So uh, the second module in the sports marketing course, we're also going to look at product price, place, and promotion. But we're merely going to use a sports example to see how this traditional marketing strategy 4P can be applied in the sports marketing. In the third module, uh, we will look at sports marketing. What makes sports marketing kind of unique? Why do we need to have sports marketing? Why don't we just study like marketing course and then uh, could have a better understanding about sports marketing? Because sports marketing is kind of unique because sports industry is really unique, right? So for the third module, we will look at some unique uh, marketing things happening in the sports industry. So for instance, sponsorships. Right. So if you look at other business, um, sponsorships are not very common, right? In sports industry, sponsorship are very everywhere. And it's also a very important uh, financial strings um, in the sports industry. So when we look at um, sponsorships, we look at athlete endorsement, we look at ambition marketing, um, we also look at um, digital marketing. Um, digital media marketing, so like how the digital media, including not just social media, but also uh, like search engines, um, email marketing, and so how those um, can be utilized um, in the sports industries. So we're going to look at each of topic one by one um, to help you give you better pictures of the, what the sports marketing looks like. And students may also want to uh, know a little bit more about the syllabus. Um, so in this part of videos, I'm going to show you what the syllabus looks like and how you're going to use the canvas to complete this course successfully. Okay, here is the canvas. Um, so here, mainly you'll be using the home announcement, syllabus, modules, grades, assignment, uh, quizzes, and discussions. Uh, for the syllabus, um, you can see those information I just talked about previously, um, textbooks, um, for the assignment, right? Uh, we will have uh, 10 quizzes that are scheduled throughout the entire semester. So you need to make sure that you're going to do all those quizzes on time. So normally, um, quiz are due um, on Wednesday. And for the online discussion and homework, we also have about 10 either online discussion or homework schedule throughout the entire semester. For instance, the first week, I would like you to go and introduce yourself to the whole class, right? So um, those this like online discussion. Uh, so the online engagements um, 
with this class as main, mainly through the online discussion and the group assignment. Uh, for the online discussion in these courses, um, normally include in two parts. Just similar to any other courses, the online discussion that you need to go and write a poster and also respond to another students. So normally you're required to share your poster on Tuesday and respond to at least two of your classmates on Thursday. So make sure you yeah, you complete both part if you want to get this whole credits uh, for the online discussion and homework. And this class um, was another assignment called Marketing Plan. So this is a group project. Um, these assignments has been divided into two parts. Uh, for the first part, um, basically I asked you to go and develop a survey uh, for a marketing company. And the second part is you need to go and distribute this survey, get, get, gather data, and report these data. Uh, look, report your findings. So I will spend a little bit more time to talk about these marketing plans when we get to that point. So this is a group project. Uh, I possibly will put you guys into multiple different groups. Each group you have either three members or four members, and then you will have to work together to get these things done. Um, this is about marketing projects. And also um, for this class, we have uh, two exams. Uh, the first exam that was scheduled right after the first modules. So um, in the after first five weeks, uh, we have the first exam. Um, the first exam has been scheduled in the week six, and the second exam will be scheduled after second module. So it will be scheduled in the week either week ten or week eleven. Um, so for the exams, also very similar online. Um, this is a closed book then you can't use your notes. Um, you also will have to record um, during this exam. I will make sure that you guys follow the rules. Um, we don't have the final exam in this class, right? That's great, no final exam, but we also have final projects. Uh, final projects, like I'm give you case studies and ask you to go and complete a sponsorship proposals. Um, these projects uh, will be contain a six pages report and also three minutes presentation. I'll give you like three days to work on it. So pretty short pair of time. So make sure you be prepared and ready for that. Um, and then we will have a um, case study analysis that mainly um, uh, required for the students um, who are taking this course for 516. So you are grad students, right? You do have uh, an extra assignment that you need to complete for this course. Uh, for this um, case study analysis, um, we have six grad students signed up for this cl uh, class so far. So you will work in pair, two people work together to complete a case studies report. I'm also give you a case studies. You need to go and complete a report. Uh, we will talk about it uh, when we get to that point. Okay. Um, in terms of grading, similar to any other courses, want to get an A in this class, 92%, and get a B, 82%. So at C, 70%. Right. If you got less than 60%, um, you will fail this class. Some of the really important policy uh, for you to know, uh, we have an academic integrity policy. Um, you guys been in college for many years, so you should know what the academic integrity is. If you're not familiar with this policy and details, go and look at those uh, websites that I share with you here. And also this class for this semester, as you know, you have the option, you have the choice to make it either quadric or non quadrics So there are some informations provided here. Uh, make sure you don't miss the deadline if you want to change the course to a non quadric Of course, I hope everyone take this class for quadric. Um, I hope everyone can get good grade in this class, take this class for quadrics. Um For this class, I also hope that you can send a professional email Every time we shoot me an email, make sure you show your professionalisms. Um, show uh, you're ready in the job market, so write professional emails. In terms of grade, um, grade is not going to be negotiated. Uh, you have a question about your grade, come here to meet me in person. I don't talk about your grade through the emails. Other information also available here, right? So this is about the syllabus. Uh, one last thing I want to show you is how we're going to use um, Canvas. Um, Canvas, like every, starting from this week, every uh, Monday mornings, I will send you an email 
send you an email let you know what you need to do for that particular week and i will also send you multiple different reminders throughout the week make sure that you'll be able to finish all these things online on time sorry and for all the contents like for instance currently we're in the week two um so what do we need to do so you can go and look at here um, so you can go to syllabus, look at the module, you find out the information. Introduction, I give you an idea about what is content um, that we are going to cover for this week, what the basic reading that you need to do, and what the lecture videos, lecture notes are those PowerPoints I shared over here. When you watch these videos, make sure that you look at these PowerPoints. And also the assignments, uh, assignments uh, let you know the times, so basically in one page you know what you need to do for the entire weeks um, so just keep coming back to these pages if you're not quite clear what you need to do uh, for this course um, as i mentioned at the very beginning in these videos i will also schedule some live lectures um, so i will normally email you a few days earlier today so this thursday we're going to have a live lectures so in the live lectures, I will go over some of the um, assignments. Um, I will go over some exercise. I think students might have a lot of questions. And also, um, I will use these live lectures to help you review for the first exam and the second exam. Um, the live lectures normally will schedule on Thursday morning, 8.30, which was the initial class of time for the sports marketing course right um one um 8 30 is eastern time so i understand some students might come in from california and say hey i'm leaving california uh, i can't get up 4 30 or you know, 5 30 or 4 30 to come up you know participate in the live lecture i will see whether i can record these live lectures um and uh right and then you'll be able to you know watch the record um, the good thing for you to be able to participate in live lectures so you can ask me questions during the lecture times i'm open to to that right uh, i also i know some international students you may be taking these courses when you are in your home country make sure the time differences if you're living in china you know 12 hours differences so if i have live lectures at 8 30 in the morning so you have to you know, uh, attend the lectures at 8.30 at 9 in China. Okay, so this is my plan for the semesters uh, for the sports marketing class. If you have any question, email is still the best way to get hold of me. And I hope you will enjoy this class. Uh, we will learn a lot of fun things and talk a little bit more about the marketing. I know a lot of you are interested in marketing, interested in getting a job in marketing in the future. So I look forward um, to working with you more um, in this course. All right, uh, that's it for today um, for these videos. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.